Hi, I'm Josh with Woodland Mills, and this is our full-length product video of the TF46 Pro Series PTO Driven Wood Chipper. In these full-length videos, we'd like to touch on tractor compatibility and the models the TF46 was designed to work with. Then we'll do an in-depth product walk around where we go through every element of the chipper and describe the details that make this a Pro Series. From there, we'll look at the assembly process, then we'll move on to the crate for the dimensions and the weight. And then further, we'll look at the shipping and how this chipper gets delivered to your driveway. For compatibility, the TF46 Pro was designed for subcompact and compact tractors, ranging from 15 horsepower right up to 35 horsepower. At the front, we have a category one three-point hitch assembly. It's quick attach compatible with multiple pin locations so you can align it to match your quick attach system. Now we'll start into the in-depth product walk around and I'll start by talking about the PTO shaft that's included. The PTO shaft is trimmable in length so you can match the chipper and your tractor together and the directions to trim it and measure it are all covered in the manual. We're shear pin protected, again, to protect your tractor and the chipper. And we have safety chains to keep this outer sheath from spinning while in use. As we look deeper underneath the guard, you're gonna see the main drive shaft of the chipper. This drive shaft is being spun at 540 RPMs, your tractor's output speed, and it carries that through to the primary flywheel with the blades as part of the two flywheel system. You're gonna see this shaft at an inch and a half in diameter is carried by a large cast iron flange bearing with a zerk fitting at the top for maintenance. As we look further below, you'll see the two drive belts that bring that 540 RPM down to the hydraulic pump to feed the infeed system, and then also gear up that speed to drive our secondary flywheel of the twin flywheel system. Both the tensioners are on springs for ease of use and maintenance. Over here, we have the included chainsaw holder that has an adjustable width to fit different bars and chain sizes. And that chainsaw is gonna slide in from the top to keep it sturdy while you're heading out to the field and forest. For the discharge chute, we've made it 360 degrees rotatable with a locking pin to hold it securely when you choose which direction it needs to go. We have a chip deflector on the end, which is gonna let you position those chips closer to the chipper or further away, depending on where you need them and your use for those chips. Before I open the clamshell, I want to talk about a chipper's two functions. Primary is making those chips. Secondary is throwing those chips and creating an airflow. So when we look inside, you're going to see the two flywheels that make up our twin flywheel technology. The first being our primary flywheel. This flywheel is directly driven by the PTO shaft connected to your tractor. And because of that, it preserves all the torque and horsepower available and brings it right into the flywheel and straight to the blade's edge. This primary flywheel is doing 90% of the work because it's actually making those cuts. And because of that, it's the most efficient use of your tractor's available horsepower. Before I talk about the secondary flywheel, I wanna touch on what you'd see in a traditional wood chipper, where you'd have two or four paddles welded directly to that flywheel, spinning at that slower speed. That creates a compromise in how much airflow and chip speed we can get out of those paddles to discharge from the chipper. With our twin flywheel technology, we can use those belts to speed up the secondary flywheel to over two times the speed of the primary flywheel. And that builds that airflow we need to get the lightweight and leafy material into the chip stream and out of the chipper. For the primary flywheel, we use three quarter inch thick steel that's CNC machined and pocketed. You'll see we have four blades mounted 
Now they're mounted into a pocket to protect the secondary edge because these blades are reversible, but also for reinforcement and support. When changing the blades and servicing the chipper, we have a lockout pin that's stored right here. It can be inserted through a hole in the flywheel to lock it in place while you're changing blades or doing any service inside. On the back, we'll see that primary shaft comes through and again is carried on a four bolt flange bearing with a Zerk fitting for grease to keep it maintained. The TF46 Pro uses a fully self-contained hydraulic infeed system that doesn't require any connections to your tractor other than the original PTO shaft to run the chipper. The system starts here with a 12 liter hydraulic reservoir tank. From there, the hydraulic pump is gonna pick up that fluid and start to create the pressure. That pressure is gonna come into our directional control valve, and that's gonna give us a forward, neutral, and reverse action, which is actuated with this red bar at the back of the infeed chute. From there, we have a speed control valve, and this is gonna help us balance the tractor's horsepower with the material we're feeding into the chipper. You'll see we have a hydraulic motor that's connected to a six inch diameter infeed roller with chisel knife edge blades welded to it. That roller is gonna climb up over the material and bring it into the chipper to present it to that primary flywheel. On our Pro Series, we've opted to use stainless steel gas springs. They offer both consistency and pressure, and they have a dampening effect, which keeps that pressure on the roller and onto the material being fed in. For an opening size of the infeed chute, we have a 19 inch by 19 inch opening. The red bar wrapping around the infeed chute is how we control that infeed roller for that forward, neutral, and reverse position. And it also acts as a safety stop when operating the chipper. At the leading edge of the infeed chute, we use a solid three quarter inch steel bar. And we do that for rigidity, as well as giving us a nice rounded edge for when those branches and leaves get pulled into the infeed chute. You'll see on top of the infeed chute, we have a hinge. And that's because the entire infeed chute is foldable for storage and to help you navigate those tight areas when driving the tractor around. To get it to fold up, we have two draw latches at the lower section. We also have to move the linkage from the directional control valve to its storage position. And then we can just use the red handle to fold it up and it will rest here on this rubber pad for storage. The swing arm assembly is what carries that infeed roller. You'll see on one side, we've got the hydraulic motor that's driving the roller. On the other side, we have a two bolt flange bearing that's greasable, again, for maintenance. You'll see the second gas spring located on this side. As we look a little lower, we'll see the bed plate. Now the bed plate is a secondary cutting edge. If you look at a pair of scissors, you need two blades to make a cut. So we've got the primary blades on that flywheel and then we have our bed plate to make the second half of that cut. Now the bed plate is tunable. We include a tool to set the bed plate and we also have a window that you can open up to get a good visual and use the tool. On the upper clamshell, we have the manual tube. And inside we're gonna find the hardware required for assembly plus the manual itself. Now in this manual, it's gonna walk us through the assembly process, the maintenance, as well as the safety precautions while using the chipper. The TF46 Pro comes 90% assembled. And because of that, it's only gonna take you between one and two hours to get it out of the crate and fully assembled, ready for use. It requires 12 liters of hydraulic fluid that you can purchase locally. And then it's just trimming the PTO shaft to connect it to your tractor.
fully assembled, the chipper weighs in at 620 pounds. And because of that, we have to ship it in an iron crate with a cardboard sleeve, making its total shipping weight 740 pounds. The crate dimensions are 46 inches in width, 34 inches in depth, and 34 inches in height. And again, because of that size and weight, it's gonna be shipped by LTL with a power tailgate where available to get it down to the ground for a curbside delivery. From there, you'll be able to take the top off the crate, back your tractor up, and lift it out of the crate with your tractor and start the assembly process. I hope you've enjoyed this video about the TF46 Pro PTO driven wood chipper. For more information, please give us a call or check us out online. This has been Josh with Woodland Mills. Thanks so much for watching.